Hey guys, welcome back to part 2 of our I2R UC CNC video. Before we get started, I just want to highlight a couple things on the UC CNC software that I really enjoy and find useful. First is the graphical 3D preview. Once you load up your G-code, it shows you a 3D rendering of how your toolpath looks. This is great visual feedback when you're planning projects. Second thing is the ease of making adjustments. When you're prototyping and making new projects, a lot of times you want to make adjustments to your toolpath. You can do it right on your PC and just save the file and you're pretty much ready to go. You don't have to fiddle with a USB plugging it in, plugging it out. Sometimes I have my computer, design computer, a bit away from the machine. I have to run back and forth with the USB. I find that extremely inconvenient. Now, of course, there are pros and cons to each system, which we're not really going to get into in this video. I just kind of wanted to highlight those couple things for the UCCNC. All right, guys, let's get started. In this video, we'll highlight the steps taken to make a project with your UC CNC software and your I2R CNC. We'll be using an I2R8 in this video. So the first thing you want to do when you turn on your machine is home it. And you do this by hitting the home all key in your UC CNC software shown on the screen. This will recalibrate your axes to zero zero. Homing is very useful if you're cutting something and you happen to hit a clamp or crash into something. Homing it will reset all the axes to zero so you can reorient it, your machine to resume your work. Generally when making a project we like to set our origin off the middle. So just make sure in your CAD CAM software, in this case Vetric, that it is set in the middle as well, shown here. Next, we'll set our origin point in our CNC. So we like to set off the middle, which is X305 on the MDI and Y610 on the MDI. As you can see, just type it in in the box, hit enter, and the machine will immediately start jogging to the position. After setting your origin, next thing you want to do is clamp down your material. We have marked the center of the material and aligned it to the center of the machine, clamped it down securely with our I2R clamps. Moving on next will be the touch-off puck. You will plug it in on the top of your spindle on the left hand side. Set the puck down under your bit and click the touch off button in your UCCNC software shown here. Next, click load file in UCCNC and load up your G-code file. This is a good time to do a border check. What that means is just jogging your spindle around the edge of the material toolpath that you're trying to cut making sure it clears all obstacles and clamps or whatever else you may have on your table. Generally, we should probably keep that clear, but uh, it's always good to check. If you do find that it will hit something, this would be the time to make adjustments to your clamping, maybe adjust your dust shoe. Just make sure that everything is clear for the toolpath. Generally, you want to do this on the cutout of your material because that will be the farthest edge that the bit will travel to so you want to do the border check usually on your cutout toolpath. Next all you have to do is hit cycle start which is the green button highlighted here. Spindle should spool up and start moving to its first initial cut. Now we're just going to do a little time lapse of this project that we're making. 
couple things to keep in mind while your machine is running is you should always be supervising. Uh, you don't want to leave the machine running and leave your house or go get a cup of coffee. You just want to keep an eye on the machine just in case something does come up during operation at least you are there to hit stop. Of course there will be times where you have no choice but to pause your work and come back at a later time. Luckily this feature is integrated in the software as well. We'll show you how to do that in another video so just make sure you keep an eye out for that and subscribe to our channel. One other feature that I want to point out here in the 3D toolpath preview if you click the ISO button it orients it in this 3D view and you could actually see which pass the spindle is at. You could you could see how many passes are left on your toolpath. Okay, that pretty much sums up the basic steps you would take to operate your I2R CNC with your UC CNC software. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more content. Thanks for watching. Until next time.